Hey everyone, welcome to Diva on Duty. I'm Anusha and I am so happy to do this episode because I love love. And uh, today is all about Valentine's Day and that special date. And also because we have such crazy busy lives, college, exams, work, you know, just so much going on um, you know getting to your date on time is probably an issue but I have come up with two things that are gonna take 10 minutes each 10 minute makeup 10 minute hair and you don't require a salon you don't require a makeup artist <laughs> you don't require anything it's just do it yourself at home and you're gonna look exactly like this, like a Charlie's angel. <laughs> so um, I just hope that you like this episode. Let's get into it right away because you have no time and you need to look great for Valentine's Day. So let's go. Okay, first up, I'm going to use a red lipstick, uh, Nindy Core. And you're probably wondering why I would start makeup with lipstick. Well, it's not for my lips, I can tell you that much. Now, what's important is, is that you get all the residue off because you don't want it too thick on your skin and because I still have little amounts of sunburn and I want to look perfect for Valentine's Day like flawless this is for any kind of acne marks spots dark spots under eyes this is really really great so you just use it to put little spots on your face wherever you feel is necessary okay and I've got two acne spots here and that's it. Then you take your foundation. My preferred one is Huda Beauty and it's Tress Lip. Now make sure you shake your foundation very well. It's really important. I'm obsessed with Huda Beauty foundation. It's probably the best one I've ever used so far. Okay, and then now I cover my beauty blenders in tissue because I just feel like bacteria, dust, it's really important to keep it covered. You can keep it in a Ziploc, you can keep it in whatever you like. So I use my beauty blender. I just squeeze the foundation. I probably need about this much. And I actually put dots on top of the dots that I put with lipstick. So just a little bit more so this would probably be the maximum I'd ever use but because I'm doing extra makeup today as a Valentine special this is the most foundation I'll ever use okay so now I don't want to use the blender brush uh, sorry the beauty blender in circular motions because that'll just rub it in now if you've got flawless skin you can totally do that then you don't even need the lipstick but if you're using the lipstick to cover something then you have to dab it like this now the the really important tip that I'm going to write below as well is that please make sure as soon as you've applied the lipstick put the foundation on straight away because sometimes the lipstick can dry and then it's really hard to blend it into your skin because the lipstick dried so you need to keep the lipstick as wet as possible so you can blend it really nicely see it's already dried because I'm talking too much so just a lot of patience and this one's dried already my god Okay, so if it has dried, just kind of move it a little bit to wake it up <laughs> with the Beauty Blender. Keep that handy because you're going to need it. Um, I always just make sure that I'm going to brush my eyebrows out. So you brush them in the direction that they grow and then you brush them in the opposite direction and then brush them back because that just makes them sit better for your pencil when you put it on, okay? Then I'm going to use a powder. Now I'm using Smashbox these days. Smashbox Photo Filter, love the name. And this is a number six. Now this is pretty dark, but I have a tan, but I also use Studio Fix uh, MAC. You know, it's been my ongoing uh, NC40. I've been using it for like ever. I think since I've started. This stiff brush from Kiko, it's really like it's kind of hard. Um, I mean, it's not like stiff as in it's just, it does move, but it's easy to just dab. So you just kind of dab it onto the powder. Now never blow onto your brush because bacteria can grow onto your brush because when you blow, you know, sometimes spit saliva can end up dropping onto your brush and then it stays there. So what you want to do is always tap your brush on a chair, 
on the box, wherever, okay? And then you just dab it on your face, just like that. And you keep going. Um, then I use the Studio Fix because, so you want your eyes to look a little more fresh and you don't necessarily have to use the same um, color under your eyes, especially if you've got darker circles, but the red has already helped it, the red lipstick. But what you can do is use a lighter shade, which I do under the eyes, like this, okay? So you're probably thinking, what? This, this can't be, this I look like a panda bear. But you just have to blend it. Okay, and then use your beauty blender. Now you can use the tip again, or you can use the big part. I use the tip under the eyes, but please, again, don't like pull it because you don't want it to spread and get uneven. You want to dab it so it just sits into the skin really nicely. Okay, and then use the other side to just make sure everything is sinking into the skin beautifully. And again, on the forehead, use the tip just to even it all out. Because sometimes you can have this like difference of skin color and you don't want that. Okay, and I also get the big brush with the smash mop space and just rub it in like this and just put it on the neck. So then you have a one tone throughout your face. And if your under eyes are a slightly lighter, because I, I made it like that, it's okay, it kind of opens up the eyes and looks really beautiful. Just make sure that you blend it really well that it doesn't look like block colors, like darker, whiter, darker. You don't wanna look like that. Just supposed to look like it just naturally opens up your eyes. Okay, moving on. So now I have just opened up my Thrive Cosmetics. I love this bronzy one. And if you just circle your brush on top of the palette, and then just dab. Look at that, so pretty, and dab. So this gives really, a really nice high cheekbone effect, um, a nice glow, just really beautiful. Obviously I'm getting it all over my hair, but that's okay, we'll fix that later. <laughs> okay, so that just, and you know what? It also helps cover your marks as well. It really does. And you can just rub it on your neck as well, the leftover on your brush. Okay, then we quickly use a blush. I'm so sorry that I don't use any other blush but NARS, and I still have the same palette for the last, I don't know how many years. I love it. And I use a blush brush like this, and literally just follow your cheekbones, just like that. And it's just like, if you just concentrate on the should we call it like the apple, <laughs> like your cheekbone apple? Just concentrate on that and make it look like an apple. <laughs> and then do it on the other side. Then you have two apples, which looks so cute. So when you smile on your date, you know your cheeks are shining. Okay, so just like that. Now, for my eyebrows, you saw me brushing them. Um, I'll just do it one more time. And then I am using Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. I fill in my eyebrows because I have really, um, I have a lot of, well, not a lot, but a few gaps in my eyebrows and I like to fill them, but I'm just making it look like natural eyebrow hair. And then I would shape it. So I'd start from the bottom, fill in the gaps in the corners and make the arch more defined, which hourglass I've run out of, so that's why I'm using Benefit. You use this brush to just add to the thickness. And it looks really cool. Let's move to the eyeshadow. Since we're gonna go a little bit more feminine today, we could use this color and maybe mix with this color and I don't know. Depends. So, depends what color outfit you're wearing, obviously, but if you're going um, for neutral colors because you don't know what you're wearing, you know, gold tones are always great. You can't go wrong with gold tones. But I'm gonna do a little bit of pinkish one as well. I'm going to wing it, I have no idea. Let's make up some, 
magic. <laughs> so I'm going to use this pink one right here. Again, do not blow on your brush. Tap it or flick it. Okay. And just put it on the eyelids like this. Oh, this is a nice color. Sorry guys, they don't write what color it is, so I can't help you. Now, this is a really pretty color for the eyelids. Now you want to just mix it up a little bit. Give it a little zhuzh, whatever that means. Um, um, so we can either go a little whitish or a little goldish. Which one do you want to go? We're going to go goldish. And now you use a smaller brush. So see the difference between the brush um, sizes? Um, so this one's really good for the eyelid and this one's smaller, so it's good for the inner corners of your eyes when you're like contour, oh, sorry, for the outer corner of your eyes when you're contouring. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we've dabbed it into the gold, flick, flick. And we just put it in the corners. And because it's smaller, it sits so nicely that you don't really need like to be a makeup artist or you know any kind of technician to get this right. It actually does the job for you. So just close your eye, put it in the crease of your eye, a little bit under as well. So I'm gonna take the gold and just put it here as well. So then we look like this. And obviously we can never forget my favorite part to define the eyebrows. We need like just a really soft brush like this. One of the whites, whatever one that you like. I like a little bit of everything, all four. <laughs> and under your eyebrow arch. So it just gives it more of an arch. And with this brush, because it's so good, if you want to clean up your eyeshadow with the same brush, you can actually. See, mine's coming out a little bit. I'll just clean it up with this. And we'll quickly go on to having beautiful lashes. Just get a cheap one. It works really well, but please make sure you know how to use it because you don't want to pull your eyelashes or your eyelids or your eye sockets out, okay? So just look straight and make sure it's not uncomfortable and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I can do an eyelash curl even in a car in Mumbai through potholes. I'm really good at eyelash curling. Okay, so see the difference? Your eyelashes just pop, but what makes them pop even more is obviously, you guys have heard it so many times now, I'm obsessed with Thrive Mascara, which you can order online. I don't actually um, need to learn how to use lashes lip contour i don't know if you can see it i don't know if it's even showing but it's called faces and it's a lip contour and the color is blush on and the reason i use it is because it's so natural to the actual lip color that if you're not good at lip contouring like me um you can still be good at it because no one will really know so this just i mean it's a beautiful color on its own to be honest but i got my bag of tricks Mindy, you have killed it and the cliche color to wear is red but again you've got to go on what you're wearing so since I'm wearing a black dress right now um, and maybe that will be the color for Valentine's Day I'm gonna choose Dosh that's the color 120 Dosh Mindy core I love this color it's so pretty and it doesn't dry out your lips and it's just so easy to apply. It's honestly like butter. Love it. Okay. My Valentine's Day makeup is the obviously the original that I've always been using, the Fix Plus by MAC. Spray it on your face. A lot of it because I love it to look natural. And then I use Cover Fix. This is my new golden baby because it's a high performance setting spray and they're not just writing that to sell it. It's true. It really holds the makeup. Like, so when I shot a month of Supermodel, I would spray this on my face after my makeup and I didn't need a touch up at all. It just wouldn't move. And on Valentine's Day, you don't worry. You don't want to worry about your makeup. You don't worry about your date and how it's going and how much you're falling in love. <laughs> okay, 
It's right on your place, on your neck. It really helps. And my trick is use the blend, uh, beauty blender again. And please just dab. Do not move your makeup now because this is where you want it to stay. Okay, and now it's time to move on to the hair. Before, when my hair was wet, um, and before I used the hair dryer, I have to tell you that using a heat protectant is so important. So I did find this one in LA, it's called Hot Toddy, and it's amazing. So I used this on my hair when it was wet, because this is for wet hair, and then I blow dried my hair, like just rough dried it, to make sure that it's completely dry. Then I take the hot toddy spray. Now this is amazing because all you do is spray it on your dry hair and it dries into your hair so quickly that you can use the heat protectant immediately and there won't be any fumes or steam or sizzling like you know you're barbecuing your hair <laughs> and you spray it on the ends in particular because they're the ones that get like that's the part of your hair that gets damaged the most and then I take my hair like this as well and I, I make it into the form of a makeup brush and I spray the ends like this. I use a wet brush because the bristles are so soft it doesn't pull out your hair so good for your hair especially when it's wet and I just brush that through. Okay. Take the tongue, and I've got a few layers in the front, so I just have to be careful I get all of that in. And you just roll it around the ends of your hair. Hold it for as much as you want. My hair catches pretty quickly, so I don't need to hold it for that long. And you just let it go. Also, when you have layers, it's a little bit more tricky I just got layers right now. So hold it, hold it, hold it. Make sure you're turning your hair outward. So like that. It works on hair that's not layered, layered, whatever. But just make sure you're taking every curl outward. Like that. Okay, so yeah, so I just want you to wear something really classy, simple and comfy on your Valentine's Day date. This goes for boys and girls. You don't want to be fidgety, you don't want to be uncomfortable, you don't want to be sweating, you don't want to have sweat marks, you don't want to be like, just, and don't try too hard, don't overdo it because when a person meets you or goes on a date with you, they want to see you, you know, they want to get to know you. And if they don't, they need to see the door, right? Okay. Now that your hair is done, right? And it looks pretty decent just like this, but just to spruce it up a little bit, what I want you to do is just take your fingers, and if you've got nails, even better, and just put your hands underneath. Just give it a little bit of a shake. Okay. And there you go. Here's your Valentine's hair, girls. So easy. Just kind of looks like that Charlie's Angel flick. <laughs> Classy, simple, comfy outfit, and you are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and comment below. Tell me how your date went, and if you used any of these hacks. And uh, oh, and tell me how the date went. Like, is she he nice? Tell me all about it. Um, and of course, uh, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. And um, tell everybody to watch this episode because, um, you know, I'm all about the love. All about the love. I'm wondering now, should I go on a date? Garen? Garen? <laughs> Can we go on a date? <laughs>